in this. It looks like as well, the majority are saying the Rose is going to win now. Yeah, no. I mean, it... No, Pongard's still got more points. Pongard's, Pongard's got, 15, got 71% on my screen, yeah. 71% for the vote goes towards Pongard. 29% obviously on Rose's side. And it's going to be interesting because Pongard lost their first matchup. So you guys think that Pongard have it in their system to be able to push and take home point and... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick all my points on Rose. I'm going to stick all my points on Rose. All your points on Rose? You want the big pay All my points on Rose. You want that yeah. big pay -up. You want to see more Village Watchmen Ruffle? Yeah, right. You can go and see that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There you go. Sledgeman's got Village Watchmen. I don't know Watchmen. if you can click, click enough. How long is it left on the thing? All right, closing in 10 minutes. I, got, I need to click some you got, more, though. you got loads of time. Can I not shift click or something and do more? Or like, no, you could just... There should be a, like an arrow button and you can put your own prediction number in. I don't see one. I'll just, I'll just keep clicking. I, I've only got 800 points anyway. <laughs> oh, nine figures doesn't watch Mark. Gee, wait a minute. <laughs> just, just no, kidding. I used my points on the on a, a, a vote not long ago, but like I barely like I barely played at all the game. Like I'm I'm like green banner thirty or something this season. <laughs> so I was initially I'm, I joined EU one. I was in Espada, I'm the same. So I, I I'm did like, a couple of territory wars, and I was like, I don't have time, guys. I'm gonna leave the house. I am the same. I'm sitting here. I, I've played every. I've played almost every TW I can make though, but. My green, I am green level 47, I think I was last time I went. <laughs> it's horrendous, isn't it? It's so bad. When I'm looking back, it's like I played 70 matches of Sieges this season. And then... I think, I, like, I think I'm on 35, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, my, my season count. I look back and there's one season where there's like 658 Siege matches. I'm like, oh, I used to play this game too much. Yeah, or I just played it. Like, with this now, I just don't play it. <laughs> like 150 or something last season. It's like a massive loss in Gobards to what it was. I think uh, a year and a half ago, like the first proper month I started playing, like January as well, 2021, I had like, I don't even know how many battles, but it was a lot, man. I was like, literally no life the game. Right, so there's going to be no Sally out. No, I know, you're lying. There's a Sally out happening right at this moment in time. Top left-hand corner, oh, small gate. We have got Sally gate. out. Yeah, the side gate. All of heroes well. coming out. I was literally looking at the main gate. Oh. It's oh. all Cav. It's Hussars, Outriders, you've got... Monastics in there as well. The attackers only have four sets of anti cab up as well, so this yeah. looks like it could be pretty good for Plenty of Berserk, but they have to react quickly to it though. If they're if they're gonna do anything with this cav, they have to react quickly because of the units they will swap out to anti cav, I'm sure. The any boys are not gonna fall for this too easily. There's more down on the point already. This must be a I actually like fight. that Rose it's only went out the side gate though, because it stops Pongard from doing what I said a few times when if they do sell out they could just basically go as a fifteen man team to the gate. They can't do that. They are trying to get the, the, the ram in still, though. Yeah, yeah. Getting pushed by, is that getting pushed by IPGs? It might be, or it may be Village Watchmen. There is Village Watchmen in the, atta uh, in the attack inside, so I assume it could be them, but we'll wait and see. I think it's, I think it's too many. I think it's Village Watchmen. Yeah, that looks like Village Watchmen, because uh, let's see if the unit Kipix... Oh, yeah, well, he's tried to bait them with the cavalry there to see if they were going to march them, and they don't march, so, yeah, it's definitely Village, Village Watchmen. Watchmen. And now and they come the main gate as well. Main gate is open as well now, and they all come up with Sally out. So this is going to slow down the pushes of the siege towers for sure. And it's funny uh, because the, any uh, boys are used to used to cavalry matches, right? And now they're going on against the opposite side of uh, cavalry, known. Yeah, and Pongard have got a lot of anti cav out at the minute as well. They've got a lot of anti cav out at the minute. The thing is, if they use too much like IPG walks in certain directions, and they get just like picked off and get hit from multiple directions they're gonna lose a lot of shit yeah definitely like it's it's quite there's not been a hero death yet i don't think i'm not oh, there now we go there speak of the devil the first one goes down <laughs> slash pain picks up that kill most be dies omg phrase is the second one to die and then three rows is dead. down so three rows down and rows the fight is actually going on the supply point well. yeah they're going on the supply point here trying to fight but unit wise they're still quite even on unit wise and unit deaths so overall it's not not too bad for them SKW I think is trying leadership to wise, though, Rose have lost out more though, because yeah, it's, it's all been that they've lost. Yeah, it's all covered. High tier units. Tataku's getting chased by SM3 as the Pike player. He's got that extra speed boost that you get with Pike, so he's trying to chase the Nandachi down, but not doing too much. Well, will the rest of the boys of Rose that are out here, obviously the ones that are still alive, will they just stay out here and just pretend they're going to do stuff with the Cav and just roam around and keep Pongar from even pushing anything just now? It's like a, it's a waste of time. For a little bit here we're down to 10 minutes so we've still got plenty of time you still see a couple more heroes coming out of the home point 
Oh, OMG and most plays, uh, most be both looking uh, for A's and most be just just scanning just to see if it's worthwhile going back out here. Probably not at this point. It looks like heroes are getting wiped too quickly and rows are down to eight heroes. So Poggar definitely won that battle uh, in terms of hero yeah. fighting. They won out, won uh, out right. I think unit wise as well, leadership wise, if we could see it, it'd be more because it's 213 to 215 and it was for rows all cavalry. I mean, it wasn't all like tier five cav, but still, there was a mm. lot of cavalry that got lost there. Yeah, definitely a lot of cavalry lost out of that sally out, but then they did have some good tier units out in the in the in the attacking side. So whether that counter is it, maybe not. But the siege tower still managed to get taken down on the far right one. That one's gonna really go slow on my screen, but who? Hey, that's like in slow mo. The way that dismantled. Interesting. Now they're just full hero pushing up onto the wall here. They got a use of berserkers going up on the wall here as well. Trying to They've deal still with got all there. their trebs as well, so even if they get a lot of units up to, to fight them at this, the ladders, they can just treb it. Yep, it is now coming in, as you said, the treb comes in just as you mentioned it there, but a little bit past the units that are already up on the wall. They've got halberdier and sergeants been on the, the wall. ladders as well, but the, the tower's getting in, so I don't think they're really that worried. They've got a couple yes. of guys putting pressure on A as well. It's yeah, a bunny berserker and ASM tree running. ASM tree up there, yeah. And now they're going to just full push that siege tower. It's almost a way to help. They'll be up there ready for it just to drop down. But it seems like Rose it's bugged. pulling back, I think. I think Rose... I feel like that oh, siege yeah. tower's bugged. Like, it is literally there, but there is no nothing coming they down. They should have dropped by now. The siege tower's like, there's too many of you on. You're too fat. Way too much. Oh, no, the units just disappeared. What the hell? Is that right. the, the guy must have died oh, there just we go. before it oh, hit? Oh, that's that so unlucky. That is such a waste of time there, but <laughs> I thought it was broken. I was like, no way, they've glitched it. Have they, have they glitched the system? <laughs> so the guy must have just literally died, and then the unit was trying to retreat, but because they couldn't actually get off, it must have been something like they couldn't actually disengage from the tower, so they just stand there and don't push it instead. That's yeah, actually maybe. disgusting. Well, I wasted a wee bit of time there. Heroes had to jump off of the top of the siege tower onto the wall, but now... 12 minutes though for 12 minutes yeah exactly got 12 minutes to get itself sorted up get the units in the preparation and prepare for their onslaught and to see what they can do here a couple of trebs coming well i say a couple of, a couple of trebs that might actually hit into that little spot there as the treb comes in but that tower does pretty much block every single treb there bar that one that just gets in but the unit and it lands in an open thing. area anyway yeah. yeah unit already moved by that because they've seen the first couple come in they still don't have the gate down, the attackers, and nobody's on the tower. They've opened up with the... I said that... Unless they get, like, completely wiped, they're not going to be able to get somebody up there to... The gate is open, though. No. The gate is open. Yeah. Because they could open yeah, it. Yeah, they, they just top, opened so. it, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, is that Shenji grenades? Looked like Shenji's from, uh... I don't know, watch somebody's fire... No, uh, it was axe throwers. It was axe throwers. I was going to say, like, that looked like a lot of grenades, and then, like, they didn't actually see an explosion. The treb coming in there doesn't really th connect to anything either. Are they not either. too far back, Rosie, though? Shouldn't they be slightly either. further forward? I don't know. There's some more axes get axes get launched into the ISGs that are on the on the ground there, but nothing happened. God Apostle just kind of sneaking around as a billboard here. He's been picked up though. Some people heroes have noticed that and they started to come after him. You guys, you guys, with the sound of that, calm it, Janet. Come on, come on. Going mad. Put that volume down a little bit. It kind of seems like Pongard are, are very hesitant to actually push off of the stairs. Yeah, I mean, they, they don't really have much of a units like, set up there, really, to be honest. It does look like they've got. Ah, more... they do, they've, they've sent all the units back to the resupply. They're just going with heroes down and they're going to do the go for the main strap. units. Yeah. So they're jumping on the flames in the back here. They're going to get rid of a full unit of flames. Obviously, they're all going to die eventually, but they'll just do a respawn on either the side gate or the main gate. Yeah, the full unit of, uh, seems to have died there. Or the flames takedown is gone. All the heroes will start to get wiped very quickly because it is a lot of units and heroes there. Yeah. But uh, Pongard will go down to six, make that Gilcho's four heroes. got through, though. He's going to get onto the base point. Although, Sylphina's there with... Yeah, Sylphina's there with Harbinger Sergeants, so he's, yeah, he's already got that Half a unit, there. but it's, it's going to be enough to stop Gilcho from actually capping anything, so... Yeah, Gilcho's going to try and wipe that out with the, the pike, because if he can stay and avoid death, but he doesn't. He falls to his death as well. And we're down to one hero, which is what's in the longbow. Trying to shoot from miles away, we'll run off to the siege tower and wait till his team to reset up here we're quite close in terms of unit deaths uh here as well 229 on the attackers 252 on the uh the defenders but 
That was and Montek there. is up on the middle of the wall, so he's got some good vision to see if they're actually spawning side gate or main gate. Main gate's actually been closed again by the <laughs> by the attackers as well. Oh, that could so they, that literally that, forces them to either go infantry up the siege tower or go side gate. They if also they go side gate, they'll get ruined. Yeah, they, they also shut the front gate, gate as well. They've also shut yeah. the front gate as well. So all spawn and side gate, they're going to have to knock that down as quickly as they can. Rose is going to be able to rotate it, and set already up. There. Yeah. Ready for it. But not with everything, so they've just lost enough, the unit yeah, the There's not enough but units there, but... They were in a pretty decent position to, to rotate already. The rest of the team's coming now. You've got Watson still for, for Pongard up on the wall. Yeah, they're going to go straight towards that supply point, I'm sure, but they're going to have to watch from behind them, as you see a lot of Rose boys coming in from behind. Trying Cavalry to get him in the well. flank here. Cav Hussar charge is going to be nice here if they can get that to pull off. That is a great that charge. That was a good one, yeah. That is a fantastic There's a unit of Modal braced in, be in between, but I think they were facing the wrong way, so they didn't get all their damage off straight off Here the comes bat. another Cav charge of Monastics. Does get stunned. But uh, yeah, good, good amount of wipe there for unit-wise. It's uh, definitely made the, the number advantage. Treb slightly too late as well for, for Pongard. I feel like that's the case on this map. The Trebs just take so long to get in. Once you put call it in, you just need to call it in even earlier than you know is going to happen. But you have to, you just have to predict where yeah. they're going to come from. It's really difficult to do that. Um, but Hero is counts, slowly winning the fight. Looking at yeah, it, though. they're winning the hero count, but they are they are down with units because it doesn't look like they've got the units there. They've got more units in general, but they don't have units here on the attack, so they have to kind of maneuver their way around and it's all pike players as you can see they're surviving and they're calling in trebs preemptive trebs here but that one no units are coming to to, to coming down from the supply point so it will start Seems to kind very of even match hero kills here as now. well 23 24 so the respawn timer for both teams is going to be pretty even so you got gray hairs and modows down here like gray hairs will these take the, the go towards the modows is he going to oh. keep himself paying attention there adapt is coming in you got Fort Abrash, uh, the Habardier Sergeants in the background here to protect the Grey Hairs. Looking like they're going to try and stop the, the push from the enemy boys coming in from the small gate again. The attackers have got a massive unit advantage now though, nearly 500 to 300. Yeah, it's looking well in their favour. That was a good trip. Hero wise, the they've Reapers. still got more heroes alive at the moment, but it's... Somebody's capping, two nice is capping home point. So there's going to yeah, be a hero and they're getting the Eastern quite, Supply quite as well. They've definitely done something pretty nice there to, to try and clear up the units as quickly as possible. I think Pongard, because they've still got six minutes there, the, the, the fact that they've got more units is actually going to come into play as well. Yeah, one, definitely. One good fight, even if it's like a completely even um, loss of units, Pongard should be able to oh, lock this down. Push. Yeah. I'd say, what, six minutes, you've got two pushes in you, like two full-on pushes. And if you have two full pushes, you could wipe their whole unit defense... Yeah, and Rose push. have only got the numbers for one push, really. Yeah. Like if they if they lose one fight now, they're 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 done. Definitely. Unless they can delay the fight so that there's only actually enough time for one, and it's just down to hero respawns because hero wise it's very even. Yes, bang on, it's twenty seven twenty seven. Yep, definitely, hundred percent. I agree with that. With that might be what comes into play here. We'll wait and see if it's going to look that way or not, but. The any boys are still kind of all over the map though. Like there isn't, they're not clustered up anywhere. They're not looking to protect a certain area or defend, like go towards a certain area just now. Because there's like three heroes back at the the, uh, the start says, wall. This must be a couple of heroes in the background the at the supply people. point area still. But now they're starting to do. I think what they're doing though is it's it's very much like the old uh, what do they call it? The uh, march divided and fight concentrated or some shit in it. I can't remember if Napoleon said it or whatever. I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, they literally just uh, seem to just spread clever, out everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Like, yeah, yeah. Call it like the military maxim or something, where you're supposed to like march like separately, and then when you actually fight, you're supposed to just like gather your forces before the enemy do, if you like, and then nuke them. Yeah, like what they've just done now. They're all pretty much clumped up, gar bar like two heroes that are in the background there, and Rose kind of have a few people just tailing off in the background, just looking around for potential movements of. Uh, the Pongar boys coming into the attack here, but on the grand scheme of things, them Senjis are going to deal some damage to the ISGs over, over the, the wall. wall. Yeah. That was that was quite a nice wee grenade throw there. Now they've got a little bit of a cooldown before they can do anything here. The ISGs, they go quickly, they set up around that corner and got straight into the position, ready to move forward. Now it's about Trebs here, are they going to pre-treb? Yep, they have the pre-treb, but the units might have got I like that Rose have pushed happens. all up though. 
Yeah, the flamers from Rose flame. as well. The flamers are going to do Them so much work here. Massive. The bombs though from the Shenjis did good, and a lot of Pongar just jumped on top of the flame as well, hero-wise. I mean, now we need a big calf charge coming in here. There is a calf charge coming in, but I think they need to wait till the very late on. There we go for the charge. He does. No, he that was waits good. Very that was late good. On. That. Yeah, because if he charged too early, he was going to be stopped by them ranged units in the background there. So yeah. he had to wait to the very last second, and that was very well done there from them. Unit-wise, though, it's 114 on defense. Hero-wise, we're surviving. Though. They're winning the hero fight. Wing Should be a That's heroes, a nice here, charge surely. as well there. They need to start wiping heroes quicker now. They're starting to 10 dv 10. It looks like Rosa bringing this back a little bit, but because there's a I range in the background, I think that's what's wiping everything. And so far, yeah, the and heroes... Pongar Madao up and the Shenjis as well, and unit-wise... Yeah, Pongard have the units Rose coming onto point with Modaos. There's nothing they can defend this. They've got flamers in the back there as well still, or one flamer. But that's uh, Tataku trying to survive as an Adachi, but he gets wiped out. Watson... Yeah, Monteki and uh, Lancelot are trying to stay alive on the point now. Shizzy was just around the corner healing as well, so they're trying Shizzy. to stagger the, them getting back yeah. into the fight. Shizzy's Jared Dark as well. Quick. You don't have units though, that's the thing. They've got two heroes left. They don't have a units. short sword, though, if he can heroes. get on the point. He's not getting get anywhere near it. He's flop he just flopped into the Modal and now he's gonna get wiped out. Pongard yeah. does that cap in here. That's but GG. for some reason Drop. it's not being capped. I don't know why it's not it getting is. capped. On my no, screen it it's being capped. It, it is, yeah, it is now, it is yeah, now. Yeah. There we go. It is capped, and it looks like that's gonna be it for Pongard. Pongard's gonna win this one. It's a one one. I actually expected the Rose, when I saw the flames go off for Rose, I didn't even see they had them. I thought they'd do more on that last fight, to be fair. I thought they'd be uh, completely stop them there, though. But yeah. that one Shenji bomb from, from Pongard, and there's a couple of the heroes jumped straight through the breaks in the shield and got rid of those flames as soon as possible was massive. That was an awesome fight. A draw from both teams. Both teams yeah, played so that was... well there, man. It was, that was such a close end to that as well. Like, eventually... We already knew there was there was one big push in it from uh, Rose to be able to defend that. It it was close, but they, they still it was definitely come down to that unit advantage they had overall. And then eventually, hero kills were kind of neck and neck for ages as well. Eventually, with the units advantage, the heroes die quicker. Obviously, more damage and more DPS getting put down if you have units with alongside your heroes. So definitely made a difference there. But ASM tree MVP for Pongard. 5 hero kills, 9 assists, 81 unit kills. God of Bosters, dual blade, 10 hero kills. This is, this is what you like to see. Dual blade's doing a dual blade job. Killing and killing heroes as much as he can. Siki with 6 hero kills here as well. And Sledgeman with 4. So a good, good performance uh, all around here from the NA boys. Uh, they're all kind of got involved with it. There's plenty of assists going around. So they're definitely helping each other out in the battles. Uh, on the defense for Rose here. Lancelot picks up the MVP. 2 hero kills, 8 assists, 90 unit kills. Um, but a couple of he good hero killers here, Berserker Mo with 5 hero kills, you had Mosby with 4, uh, Kobachi once again up near the top there with 3 hero kills, um, but overall I think the post-match analysis, we'll see, it's just a little bit different, a couple of like, 200 unit kill difference, and then a 10 to a 12 hero kill, kill difference, which makes, uh, makes the difference between that last push I think is where the overall guard push made a big massive difference in the middle peak here as well they had a, a, a good advantage i think that's when they were fighting towards yeah. a um but yeah that was definitely two wee swings in that uh match up there which didn't go in rose's favor in the defense nah nah i think the the first fight like the middle peak if you like if you look on the post battle analysis was when um they reset and went side gate. That was where where Pongard won that fight pretty handily in the in the background, where they slowly started like grinding them down, didn't they? And then they managed to get through.